Uh, this meeting of the Saginaw Planning Commission on April 25th, 2023 is called to order. Uh, who will call the roll for us? I will. Jesse. Okay. Commissioner Bland? Present. Commissioner Zwerko? Commissioner Faust? Here. Commissioner Lamar? Here. Commissioner Milne? Here. Commissioner Moore? Here. Commissioner Nash? Present. And Commissioner Osash? Present. Good quorum. Commissioner Clock. Here. <laughs> we have a quorum present. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the February 28, 2023 meeting. So Everyone moved. Got their copy. So moved with the necessary corrections. More. Support Bland. All those in favor of approving the mission minutes with corrections? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The minutes are approved. Chair would ask for a motion to approve tonight's agenda. I move to approve the agenda. Support. Second. Has been moved and supported to <coughs> follow tonight's agenda. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We will move on to new business. Tonight we have two public hearings. I don't have my script with me, but Here, for I got public. It for you. Memorized quite yet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm the chair of the Saginaw, City of Saginaw Planning Commission. This is our regular meeting. When we receive a petition, special land use, or site plan approval request in which you are interested is called, please come forward to the podium. Give your name and address to the secretary for the record. After the appellant's presentation, others may comment. This meeting is videotaped, so it is important that only one person speak at a time and the audience observe respect for the speaker. An affirmative vote of the majority of the members present is necessary to grant a petition, special land use, or site plan approval. Recommendations on all petitions made by the commission are then forward to the city council. Are there any questions before we begin the hearing? There are none. Uh, we've had the roll call. Public hearing guideline. We will now begin the public hearing. The purpose is to address the commission with regard to the subject of the hearing, not other topics. Speakers shall address their remarks to the commission as a whole and not to individual commission members, city staff, or the audience. The applicant whose application is the subject of the hearing or their designated representative shall be the main presenter and will be allowed 10 minutes for their presentation. Each additional speaker commenting on the subject of the meeting will be limited to three minutes. Our first public hearing is case J23-0179, special use permit for Museum of Black Experiences for Art History Exhibits and Special Events at 1243 South Jefferson Avenue. Is there anyone here who would like to comment on this case? Please state your name and address. Um, my name is Austin Kemp with uh, DNM Site Surveying and Engineering. And you are presenting for the yes applicant. Yes. Um, so this is located at 1243 South Jefferson. Um, the site is uh, 0.618 acres. Uh, with 140 feet of frontage on Jefferson Street and 60 feet of frontage on High Street, uh, zoned uh, riverfront mixed use. Um, it's a two-story um, single-family uh, structure built in 1857, uh, like a historically significant structure um, with the proposed use of uh, Museum of Black Experiences. Uh, so north of the site is Cinderella Pools. Uh, south and west of the site are vacant. East of the site is residential, uh, with the utilities being served with water, sanitary, and gas. Um, with, uh, 
we have a proposed 10 car parking on High Street uh, connected to seven car parking on Jefferson Street. Um, and so I'm gonna introduce Kevin Jones, uh, the person who's making this plan happen. Good evening, thank you for considering the request um, for um, special use permit for um, a Museum of Black Experiences. That's the actual name, a Museum of uh, Black Experiences. Online you may hear people say a must be, um, just the acronym of the name. Um, I, a little bit about me, I'm Kevin Jones. I'm originally from Saginaw, Michigan. Um, you know, after parents' divorce, eventually came back um, when my dad had a stroke uh, about three years ago. Um, for more than 25 years, I've been a collector of, um, a collector, a lover of art and history, um, and always just, you know, wanted to have a museum. Um, in those three years of being back in Saginaw, I've had opportunities to present some of my collection and also kind of survey the folks, neighbors, and other people um, at different exhibits about what would it mean to have this museum here to add to our just a cultural center um, that we have here in Saginaw. I think there's consensus that you know, a, an additional museum is a jewel for the city of Saginaw, for the Great Lakes Bay region. It provides an opportunity for um, just people to learn about other individuals. You know, it may not be your experience, it may not be my experience, but this is a museum that collects a lot of black experiences and, and tells those stories. Um, we believe that's a place where students um, have an opportunity to learn based on what they're learning in school, but also um, what's being provided in terms of exhibits and other types of programming. In addition, we believe that it's a space where parents and children can learn together, um, providing just another space in our city where people can learn, particularly parents and, and their children can learn together. Additionally, we think that this space will um, not only attract people to the city of Saginaw, um, but people will take advantage of all the other great offerings that we have here in Saginaw, but also just along you know, the byways and highways to get to this special place. I'm hoping that you know, if you have any questions, I can answer those questions because we are excited uh, for what we believe this museum can offer to, you know, to the United States, but also especially here in Saginaw, Michigan. So that's what I have to say, and again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is that all the presenters for the petition? Is there anyone else who would like to comment on this petition at this time? Um, oh, no, we're only, only accepting on comments petition. on this specific. All right, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Naisha Clark Young, and I'm here to speak on behalf of a must be a museum of black experiences. <clears throat> Saginaw has been, for the most part, predominantly uh, black. We have not seen that reflection in our art, in our culture, as much as should be. So, with um, with a Musby, we are offering uh, cultural, uh, a cultural experience for all of our residents and all of our visitors that we can see um, where it's not just so much homogenized um, in Saginaw, but we'll see more culture. We'll see um, a, different, a different vein of life outside of what we normally see. So I'm just excited about this. Um, I'm hoping that if you have any questions, you ask, and I'm excited about this moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else to speak on this petition? I need yeah. your name and address also. Robert McDuffie, 2127 Ledyard. Go ahead. Yeah, when I was at Delta College, we had a college course. It was called the Black Experience. And what we would do is have people from different sociology, psychology, and different areas who would come in and would teach students about the black experience. So I didn't come here for that tonight, but I certainly support what they're doing for black experience. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duffy. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to comment on this petition during the public hearing? Good afternoon, Commission. Uh, my name is Cedric Green. I reside on Boulevard. 
Unfortunately, I'm in my work uniform. I'm not coming to address you as an employee of the city. Um, I am also support of this, but I also own property um, behind this residence on High Street, and I just want to ensure that the special use permit that's used um, is not going to interfere with, with my property behind the, uh, there on High Street behind the property. I fully support, and because I call in a question the parking for such an endeavor, which I hope is very successful. Um, but just looking at the property that I own, just want to make sure that looking at where they're going to park at on the back part of their high street just leads me to that issue there. So not, not in support of your endeavor, uh, just as a property owner in that area, just looking to, to bring something to the area myself. So I'm calling, not really questioning, but making my comment about that. So that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Could I get your first name or your first and last name again, please? Sid. Sid? Cedric. Cedric? Green. Cedric Green. Okay, thank you. Any additional comments on this petition? <clears throat> um, hi, my name is Tanae Turner. Uh, address is 3615 Muskview Drive, Saginaw, Michigan. I did not intend to uh, comment on this particular petition, but I was moved to comment. Um, and as in HBCU, uh, previous, previously uh, HBCU um, college attendee, um, I think that it's a wonderful opportunity for the city of Saginaw. It will bring lots of history, uh, lots of diversity, um, and I think for the city, both African-Americans, non-African-Americans, it, it will be a wonderful opportunity and a wonderful learning experience. So I fully support the petition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Any additional comment on this petition? Does anyone else wish to comment on this petition? I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing on the petition. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see it one more oh, I'm still three short. One. Darn, I thought I got three. <laughs> Anyone else wish to comment? Then I will entertain a motion to close public hearing on J230179. So move more. Mm -hmm. Is that support from Commissioner Clark? It has been moved and seconded to close the public hearing on this petition. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We will now entertain a motion to support the petitioner's request. So move more. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Does the commission have any comment or question at this time? Down here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Mine has to do with the parking. On, on, I'm assuming this is a site map for the location. And what is the gray area of intended to be parking on that site? Yet? Hold site. on, John. If we're going to ask members of the public, well, no, you're I'm going just to... A, I'm, not, I'm just a, asking. You're I just going to ask staff? Yes. Okay. I don't know who's going to respond, yeah. but yeah, I'm so just asking. So um, is so that so gray area intended to be the parking? Yeah, the, the gray area off of High Street, the, the main parking um, is accessed, and then in the off um, Johnson Street, they're they're expanding the drive so that added drive there. Um, so there be actually it looks like there's three parking areas. Is that what's going to be done? So that's not parking, that's not the meeting. Right. And, then, and then the... The HDA or the handicap parking is provided in the front there. And then there's the other parking, is that correct? The rest of it is... Yes, oh. yes. The rest of the parking lot is proposed to that. How... The, the um, report to, to the committee commission says that the parking stand... Um, the design exceeds the off-street parking requirements, which I understand is seven spaces for this particular use, correct? Mm, yes. How much does it exceed it by? Um, there's 
17 altogether, so it exceeds it by 10. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because this doesn't seem to address, other than by, ex by the exceeding uh, amount, what would be needed for the second and third story usage, which I understand is as a house or residential, according yeah, to this. two spaces. So you would need how many for that? Two spaces for each floor? So you would have enough. The single residence. Well, I understand. They talk about having two, second, the second and the third floor. So still, if it's one residence, I just need to know how many, and does that meet? Is that met as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's all I needed to know. Thank you, Commissioner Lamar. Um, I, I actually, Cassie, um, or uh, if you could just tell me, I do have a question for the presenter. So when is it appropriate to ask that now? Yeah, what you have to do is um, request or make a motion to go out of the regular um, order, of business. order of business. So I would like to make a motion to go out of the regular order of business. Second, Hostash. It's been moved and seconded to go out of the regular order of business. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Commissioner Lamar. Okay. Um, just briefly, in the presentation, um, you stated that there's a ten. They're doing ten car parking, um, but in the petition, it said that you're only required to do seven. Are, and it also said that one of those of the seven would be for handicap. So my question is, with the ten car, is that just for anticipation of overfill and and growth of the museum, or is it to again uh, with Commissioner Quack's question originally? Is it to um, accommodate the residential in that same area? Uh, so it's in anticipation for any overflow that may occur, any large events that may happen, or um, large amounts of people coming to the museum at one time. Okay, and um, then I just have one other additional question for you then. Um, the handicapped parking, is that in that area, the same area, or is it in front of? The handicapped area is in the front, nearest the door. Okay. That concludes my question. Thank you very much. Would anyone else like to proceed in this? Yes, I would, Mr. Pops. Do do we have any hours of operation for the museum? I'm not sure if there are hours set yet. Kevin. So, so we'll um, we'll have traditional um, business hours. Traditional, you know, uh, you know, 10 a.m. to 5 or 6 p.m. You know, it's, uh, we anticipate on first Fridays, for example, that we'll be open a little later to provide, you know. Of, of just another first Friday type of um, event and then any special events. Um, initially, you know, we do, I work full time um, for another job which kind of supports this. So, you know, our, our initial stage will probably be only a few days a week and maybe one weekend day. And that just allows for um, building capacity, building capital so that we can be um, fully operational. Okay. Thank you. I believe that we, in our notes that we received, you had talked about having different speakers come in. Yes. Any idea how often that would be or, um, yeah, about how often you would have speakers? Yeah, so um, I anticipate, one, that exhibits will kind of turn over quarterly. So at least four times I anticipate that there will be an artist talk at least. Um, I anticipate that, um, you know, I'm a collector of historical items, so I, I'm sure that at least three times a year, um, collectors may come and gather, um, just so we can talk about our collections and continue to you know, create a, a, an ecosystem around art and our collection here in Saginaw. So I do believe that there will be at least 10 speakers. Um, I think they'll be spaced out, again, around more in my personal capacity and professional capacity, um, but also what might be manageable for the museum. We think that um, a, lot, a lot of um, items will be virtual as well, so to provide that opportunity for um, just a wider audience, particularly for those individuals who can't come. The last thing I'll say, you know, when we have those speaking <coughs> events, we anticipate that, like, in the warmer months, that there will be people that will bike to the location. So not everyone will drive. You know, we will be promoting um, a bikeable city, for example, and encouraging people to bike to that location and other areas around the city. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Moore. I, I just have a statement. This, for, the, for my fellow commissioners, this is not his first opening. He has been in two locations that I know of, probably three. And it's not like 
he's not being well received in the community. He just found the building that he don't have to worry about nobody telling him he got to go. So, I mean, I just wanted to put that out there because it is a much needed program. Um, I know that he was at Saginaw, where it's at Art Museum. He's been in some powerful spots. So I don't think that this is one of those things that we need to not look at. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, and I just wanted to share. I thank you again, Mr. Jones, for having the tenacity to come and start it and stay focused and stay on it. So I compliment you. Done. Do we have any other business while we're in the no questions. order? I will entertain a, a motion to return to the regular order. So moved. Second. Hostage. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, I have a question for staff at this point, then, and we're back in regular order. The use of High Street for an entrance. Is there any additional changes to current uh, ordinance for High Street? Is High Street being a dead end? Is it a parking both sides, no parking? I'm, uh, it's not addressed in the work here. So will putting a parking lot off of that street have any impact with its current designations? Uh, it won't have any impact on its current designations. Um, uh, I, I believe um, there's parking on both sides of High Street, um, but hoping that the parking lot will be able to contain the, the vehicles. The only concern I can see is having been a dead end for a while, uh, snow removal might have been to push it to the end of the street because there was no access at that point. I would, I don't know if it's something we need to make it's not a condition for the petitioner, but I think we should uh, definitely be cognizant of the idea it might change the snow removal. I think needs. that's a valid point. Um, and I just wanted to remind whoever makes the motion to approve that um, the, the recommendation is, is that um, the approval be pending review and approval of the city engineering department. So they will be aware of any um, street requirements and things of that nature. Yes, I see that. Thank you. I think that might be where that would fall. Anyone else? Question. Questions for staff? Yeah, I got a question for staff. So we're talking about High Street, but I live in the neighborhood, so I come down Jefferson every day. But Feline could also be a possibility for parking as well if somebody needed to. I mean, I know I've parked there before. For a neighbor. Okay, just new. Yeah. And uh, no question, but just a comment from Mr. Jones. I'm excited for you, and I'm glad you're bringing this. I'm trying to bring this into our neighborhood. Um, I've seen your exhibits. I've never been to one yet, but I keep looking for you at the house. Um, but I've seen the stuff that you have and where you travel to get it, so it's just hats off to what you're doing for the city. Thank you. Any more questions concerning the motion to approve the petition? I think we are ready to call for a vote on that then. All those in favor of the petitioner? Do you want me to do a roll call vote? I don't think the motion was made subject to review and approval by the Oh, city. we have to ask for wording for the motion. Yeah. Yes. Who made the motion? I made the motion. This made just a bad so motion. let me go back and put, I make a motion that we approve this site plan pending engineers, what did you say? Mm -hmm. Engineers recommendation. Okay, so did I do it right? Sure. Wait, I, it's always written. Well, you should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I moved it. Who seconded? It's on the next one. Oh, I, I don't know who seconded. Did I second it? Huh? Who seconded? Yeah, I'll second it. Yes, you did. Okay. Oh, we oh, had no. to fix it right there. That's what that was. So the motion is to recommend approval by the Planning Commission of the site plan 
1243 South Jefferson and issued the special use permit to operate a mixed use museum residence pending review and approval of the City of Saginaw Engineering Department. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All anyone opposed? The motion carries. Congratulations. Yep. Congrats. Good luck to you. We'll have a brief moment while the paper comes around. Go ahead and move yeah, on to the next coming. one if you'd like. It's the same. Okay. Uh, we have another public hearing. Case is J230181, a rezoning request to rezone 2100 and 2300 blocks of Hartsuff Street from M1 Light Industrial to R1A Residential Agriculture. Who is here to speak for the petitioner? Robert McDuffie. 21, 27, Go ahead. Okay, Thank you, Mr. McDuffie. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I had purchased some property from uh, the railroad at a real good deal. And I'd gotten that property because I passed out some paperwork. Saginaw is a food desert. Now, you have the downtown area where they have the, the market, and they do a lot of food distributions right there on Genesee Street. But the church, myself, and several other people in the neighborhood, we'd like to use all that vacant land. Everywhere you look on east side Saginaw, you got vacant land. And we'd like to take that land, every, every partial of it, and grow vegetables and stuff for people in the community, have community gardens. I reviewed the plan that the city has, and they talked about the urban gardening area. Uh, I think that's probably for the east side one of the best things that can happen to this city because we do not, we have to go 10 miles to, not 10 miles, <laughs> five miles over to Kroger's at least to get fresh, fresh vegetables. So that's why the USDA has defined Saginaw as a food desert. So I'm asking the council to approve the uh, rezoning of that railroad land that I bought from the railroad, and I like to turn that into two acres plus the other acres that I own in terms of growing food for a community garden and people from Saginaw. Thank you, Mr. McDuffie. Uh, is there anyone else who wishes to speak on the public hearing? Anyone else who wants to address the commission during this public hearing on this petition? Is there anyone else here to speak on this petition? Not, I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing on petition J230181. So I'll move more. Second. <clears throat> is moved and supported to close the public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? We have closed the public hearing. I will entertain a motion to. Recommend to the City Council that the request to rezone 2100 and 2300 block of Hartsuff Street from M1 Light Industrial to R1A Residential Agriculture. Staff has shown no reason this request could not be approved. You read the motion, but somebody has to make it and second it. Right. I'm Please waiting. support more. Okay, at this point, we can have discussion on the motion to approve. Uh, I just got a comment. Uh, Ms. McDuffie, for, year, for a couple of years, I know her, 
has always had a garden, a community garden in the neighborhood. It just got bigger than the small one he started with. Um, we are a food desert, and I, we, I can't do nothing but support it because we're a food desert. And he does not tell people that they can't have the vegetables. As long as you don't tear up his garden, he okay with you going in there getting food. Commissioner Clark. Yeah, thank you. I, I think it's a great idea. I do have a couple of questions for staff. And how would that setback work here on uh, such a narrow strip? I mean, is it, you got a setback requirement of 20 feet. Yeah, so any um, accessory structure that would be proposed for that site would have to make sure that they um, do not, he would not build within the um, restricted site clearances on the corners and then anything would have to be behind that 20 foot setback. And that's the yellow area on the map? Provided. Correct. Is that correct? Okay. Um, these, um, there, there appears to be a lot of properties I don't know the north-south designation, but um, there's a lot of properties abutting this on both sides. Mm -hmm. Was notice given to the neighbors looking for any objections? Yeah, absolutely. It's required that we send out notices within 300 feet of, all of, the, of both properties to residents within that area. Well, were, were there any objections? Only call phone calls asking for clarification, but there was no objection. Okay. Um, this, I assume then, because it, it appears to be between the back of all these properties. Would that be correct? Yes. All right. So it's not a cut off, it won't cut off access of anybody to any, um, of any other of those property owners, like 33 of them. It won't cut off access because they never had it, they never owned this property. Correct. Then I Any other questions? Any other commissioners? Will this allow Mr. McDuffie to put up his hoop house that he had up illegally at his house? Yeah, I would have to put it parallel to Hearts of Thaw. Right. And stay within two, two feet of the property line in the back. Is there a limit to the number of hoop houses that could be installed on this property? No, because the permitted uses are a greenhouse. Permitted use by right as a greenhouse. Okay. A question. Uh, our approval is for these two addresses, which are lengthy addresses. Do we have a depth on them? I see we, we show that you'd have to have a 20-foot setback. I believe they're 60 feet. Oh, that's what I was thinking, yeah. but I wasn't certain. It looked like half a lot depth, right. kind of. Yeah. Um, no known uh, utility easements or anything that any structures might interfere with? Not that I am aware of. Okay. <coughs> any other questions from commissioners? Uh, I think at this point we can vote on the approval of the recommendation to the city council to request the zoning change. 2100 and 2300 Hearts of Street from M1 Light Industrial to R1A Residential Agriculture. All those in favor of a recommendation to Council? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? The petition will be passed to Council with a positive recommendation. Thank you. Good luck. Our next order of business is general public comment to the Planning Commission. Anyone wish to address the commission? Old business. We see nothing listed. Does anyone have anything that covers under old business? I, I just have an update. Um, okay. I mentioned to you, uh, I think it was back in December, that we have um, made an arrangement with um, SPSU's um, geography department um, to do some survey work within the um, Cathedral District, and they've completed that survey work, and I have a preliminary draft of of what they put.
put together, we're still waiting on some finalized um, items that would go in that report. Yep. The plan then is to um, meet with the neighborhood association and present that plan to them um, and get some input and ideas from the neighborhood. The ultimate goal, at least my goal, is that I would like to perhaps expand the uh, mixed use district within the cathedral district in certain areas. And so that's the idea that uh, I have and would like to get input from the citizens on, on that proposal. That would be a zoning change recommendation. It then. would be a zoning change recommendation, yes. I have a question for Mr. Golan that maybe it should have been under new business, but perhaps this is some old business. I drove over the Genesee Street Bridge today, and I see where a previously demolished structure that its basement has sat empty for a while is being filled. I don't remember seeing anything in a site plan designation or a project that that would fall under. What do we know about that? Okay, that, uh, so many of you have, hopefully everybody has heard about the Memorial Cup coming right. to the city of Saginaw right. next year. So luckily we have um, a group internally has formed a committee to try to tackle kind of some of the project areas, priority areas within the city, and we're using the Memorial Cup as kind of a carrot. So that was one of the first things that could get done really quickly. So all that he did really was complete the demolition which when you demolish a building, you have to level the ground, top soil it. So we pushed him to finish the demolition that began in Question. 2019. Why maybe? didn't they make him do it in 2019? I'm not sure. Uh, well, part of it was that he was planning to do a redevelopment project. And I'm not exactly sure if, you know, COVID shut that down. And there's a bunch of things with Eagle as well, because he is right on the river. Yeah. So the, the first plan was to have redevelopment. Obviously, it's been quite a few years, so it it needed to just get filled in, whether there's going to be a development there or not. There's nothing in the works, nothing to get approved at this time, okay. unfortunately. No, no special problems with drainages or anything due to it mostly being a poured basement? Because uh, I know during times of flood, the river water could come in there, we fill it with sand is uh, I was uh, like I say I didn't know if this was old project which it does sound like it was mm -hmm. but it was not a development project so there really wasn't a site plan it was just a demo permit right okay right exactly it was following the demo permit okay anything in the future for instance if someone wanted to pave it for a parking lot or create a green space or something we would expect to hear us see a site plan Depending Absolutely. on what it is, yeah. Okay. That's my only question. Any other business from commissioners, staff? The chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll move more. Support, Mayor. It is moved and supported to adjourn our meeting this evening. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. We stand adjourned.